Today I'm going to talk about rubella. Rubella is a SSRNA virus from the Toga viridae family. It is a spherical and enveloped fragile virus which is moderately contagious, transmitted via respiratory droplets and also transplants placentally, which is from the mother to the fetus in the stomach. There is a single serotype, so in individuals who had the disease, they will have lifelong immunity towards rubella. The clinical features of rubella include symptoms like low-grade fever, malaise, and headache. The incubation period is normally 14 to 21 days, which means the person is infectious from one week before and after the rash occurs. There will be skin rash, and there, it is different on day 1, day 3, and day 4. So for day 1, the skin rash from the face will rapidly spread to the whole body, and the entire body may be covered with discrete erythematous macules. On day 3, the rash will fade on the trunk only, whereas on day 4, the rash will disappear rapidly. Other than the fever, headache and skin rash, the infected person might have conjunctivitis. Whereas for signs, there is one characteristic of rubella, which is the Foch-Hamer spots, which there are particular lesions on the soft palate, but this one is only suggestive of rubella, it is not a diagnostic feature. So we can see over here in this picture, it is an example of Foch-Hamer spots. And there is also characteristic lymphadenopathy, especially seen where the lymph nodes are enlarged at the sub-occipital area, post-auricular and posterior cervical areas. There will also be macular papillar rash and also splenomegaly. For investigation, we can do tissue culture from nasopharyngeal secretion. We can also do serology tests and viral isolation or PCR in the throat swab and synovial fluid. For congenital rubella, we can test for IgM in fetal blood and also virus isolation or PCR in the amniotic fluid. The definitive diagnosis for rubella is the first and second test, which are the tissue culture and also the serology test. For management, it is only symptomatic treatment and there is no antiviral therapy required. For prevention of rubella, we can give live attenuated rubella vaccine. The efficacy is 95% and it offers long-term protection. It is usually given for 12 months old baby and also for children which are 6 years old. Given also for female of childbearing age and people with exposure risk, for example healthcare workers and teachers. And this rubella vaccine is contraindicated which means we cannot, cannot give for pregnant women. That's all, thank you.